Monday, East Alabama and West Georgia. Dr. Don back in here with you with your prime time forecast for your Sunday morning, June 20, 2021. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there today. Hey, here's a great gift idea for Father's Day. Go over to drdonwx.com and download Dr. Don's weather app so that you'll be weather aware and prepared the next time we have severe weather across East Alabama or West Georgia. Let's take a look at your Father's Day forecast for today. Uh, as far as severe weather is concerned, don't anticipate anything across East Alabama and West Georgia, though we could still have a few thunderstorms this morning. And again, uh, late tonight, as a cold front approaches from the northwest, the severe weather threat today will be across central and southern Georgia, and especially over there on the eastern side of the state of Georgia, up the uh, eastern seaboard there around Charleston, South Carolina, all the way up to the southern coast of North Carolina. Could see a few strong to severe thunderstorms today. Now, let's uh, talk about tomorrow. As I mentioned, we have a cold front coming down from the northwest, and that's going to be right on the heels of what's left of Tropical Storm Claudette. So we could see some strong thunderstorms in Alabama tomorrow, but that would be up there the northwest sections of the state, back across Mississippi, Arkansas, Tennessee, and up into Kentucky. Could see a few strong thunderstorms on Monday. Now, let's talk about Claudette. Claudette's hanging out across central Alabama this morning, but slowly moving off to the east. We'll come right through Clay and Randolph County. We'll show you that on the radar in just a few moments, but by this afternoon should be well over into East Georgia. And then by one o'clock tomorrow morning, should be right there along the North Carolina, South Carolina state line. And by 1 p.m. Monday afternoon, back out to sea. Uh, and we think, and this is a little bit remarkable, uh, interesting anyway, if you follow weather, we think the storm will regain tropical storm status uh, as it gets into South Carolina and North Carolina later today and then uh, remain as a tropical storm back out into the Atlantic uh, all the way out through Tuesday before, um, well, actually all the way out toward Wednesday. It'll become subtropical, uh, but still a storm nonetheless, which is, I think, pretty interesting. All right, so here is your daytime high temperatures for this afternoon. We'll do 84 in Roanoke. Wadley goes to 84. 83 in Widawi, 82 in Woodland, Lineville and Ashland both will be right around 83 and 84 this afternoon. Lafayette goes to 83 and Auburn tops out at 85. Again, we'll see a peak at the sun by this afternoon. Here's your six day forecast from the Shepherd's Weather Center on Dr. Don's weather page for your Sunday. 80% chance of rain this morning. That rain will be subsiding as we go throughout the morning. Uh, I'm thinking probably by mid-morning, the rain will be pretty much out of here. And then we'll go partly cloudy this afternoon. 84 will be your afternoon high, down to 71 tonight. And we'll maintain a 20% chance of showers during the overnight. I think primarily after midnight, there'll be a slight chance of a shower. For Monday, a 70% chance of rain as that cold front approaches from the northwest. 84 will be your high, 68. Maybe a little breezy out there on Monday as well with a gusty wind up to 20 miles per hour. 70% chance of rain Monday night, Tuesday, an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms. And then by Wednesday, we go back to a typical summer pattern with just an afternoon scattered shower or thunderstorm. 20% chance there. Thursday, though we're not showing it, there will be plenty of sun. 30% uh, chance of rain in the afternoon. And on Friday, we're looking at a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. That pattern will continue all the way through next weekend. So here's your Southern Union State Commute to College Live Doppler HD radar this morning. Scanning from Peachtree City, Georgia. This is the Atlanta radar. And you can see that what's left of Claudette is spinning right there over northeastern Chilton County. Going to continue off to the northeast, uh, clipping extreme northwest Coosa County. And then to a point very close to Sylacauga, right across central Clay County, Ashland, Lineville coming right overhead. And then across central Randolph County, maybe just a shade bit north of Widawi. Uh, before ending up over in Georgia near the Carroll County, Heard County line. 
Now, it's going to be breezy when this comes through with gusty winds up to around 20 miles, maybe 25 miles per hour. And you see that we do have a little rain out there with the system as well. Uh, a few scattered showers, maybe a, a small area of heavy rain there in southwest Clay County and down into Coosa and Tallapoosa County. And all that's going to rotate through East Alabama this morning. But I think that's the end of the rain. Once this area moves through, I think we start to dry out. The heavy weather this morning is over in Georgia. We have had several tornado warnings during the overnight hours uh, for this band of showers and thunderstorms moving through East Georgia. Uh, but that'll be on over into South Carolina soon as well. So I, I don't think we're looking at anything significant this morning with what's left of Claudette. Uh, but one more hoorah coming into East Alabama with some scattered light to moderate showers. Folks, don't forget to head over to drdonwx.com and you can purchase the When It's Severe Dr. Don Is Here t-shirt. You know I am, always. Uh, so go over there and get that shirt and the proceeds after cost go back to help the tornado victims of Randolph County for the tornado back on March 25th. Also, while you're there, head down to the God's Country page where you can download the Mixler app and listen to God's Country anywhere in the whole wide world. And when you're in East Alabama, listen to God's Country and the classic 89.7 East Alabama's Classic Rock. Let's recap that forecast one more time. Slight chance of a shower this morning. Well, actually, uh, a decent chance of showers this morning. And then just a slight chance by noon. I think by afternoon we go partly cloudy. All chances of rain are gone. 84 will be your Father's Day high. And then as we go through the overnight, showers could increase again after midnight. As a cold front comes in from the northwest, Monday looks to be wet with a 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. I'll see you back in here tomorrow morning for your Monday edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather Page.